Guys, listen up. You really want to attend Oak Tree's sales and product training that's going to be on February 15th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It'll make more sense after this show, but make sure you go to their training. Sign up for it by clicking this banner right over there. And here's the reason why. Loan officers, it goes something like this. You need more referral partners. That means you need to work with more real estate agents. Here's the problem. How do you approach them? I have great rates. I close on time. I'm a great communicator. All lies. You know the typical can ham speech that every loan officer uses? Not to mention, not a single agent believes you. No, here's what you need to do. You train. That's a real value proposition and agents will flock to it. So what do you train on? Aha, uh -huh. non q this one's a no-brainer. It's a layup. And that's because most agents are in the dark when it comes to non-QM. Now, let us explain and listen very closely to our compelling reasons. 18% of realtors have been licensed for less than one year. According to NAR, they've increased their membership by nearly 50,000 from July of 2021 to July of 2022. And finally, the median experience of a licensed professional in the real estate industry is 8 years. See, non-QM has been around since 2014 and subprime ended in late 2007. That means if an agent has been in the business for eight years or less, they have no point of reference when it comes to non-agency loans. This is your chance to bridge the education gap when it comes to non-QM loans. But think about this. 37% of licensed realtors own at least one secondary property. Okay, so this is an important and very much overlooked point. At least one secondary property for 37% of agents. Realtors are 1099. With Oak Tree's 1099 program, agents become more than just referral partners, they become clients. I mean, who knows the market better than real estate agents? Further, if an agent comes across a multiplex at four, five, six, seven, eight unit place, I bet it pencils for a DSCR loan. Now, if not for the agent, you've now equipped that agent to look for those properties that pencil for their investors. It usually goes, get the investor investor, then find the property. But when you're done training your agents on non-QM loans, it will also be get the investment property, then find the investor. They'll do their MLS searches in a much more meaningful and tactical way. Now, who qualifies for non-QM? Well, let's just start with the self-employed. Listen to these numbers. They're shocking. Self-employment pays $84,305 on average per year or $40.53 per hour. The average income for everyone else is $31,133. So in your market, if affordability is a problem, and I bet it is, you're better off with self-employed borrowers. According to new research from Forbes, 44 million workers or 28.2% were self-employed at some point during a given week in 2019. 14% said being an independent contractor was their primary job. Really, just shocking numbers. According to the latest figures released by the United States Bureau of Labor and Statistics, Statistics, as of August 2022, the number of self-employed people in the United States is over 9.6 million people. Now this is important. Millennials reign as the largest home buying generational group, purchasing nearly one out of five homes sold in 2022. Now this is important because the largest percentage of self-employed people happen to be millennials. So is this sinking in yet? If not, Try this one on for size. With more freedom and flexibility, independent contractors tend to be happier and more optimistic than their full-time employee counterparts. In a study by McKinsey Global Institute, 97% of contractors reported that they were much happier than those who worked for someone as an employee. And if you think that's wrong, go down to your local DMV and just check it out. So here's the recipe, my friends. Train agents. It's a value proposition. They need it and they want the training. Agents can become clients as 37% of 1099 agents own at least one secondary property. Agents will look at their MLS in a more tactical way when they understand non-QM products. Self-employed folks out-earned their W-2 counterparts and are a huge underserved portion of the housing market. Worst case scenario, if you just train the agents and no deals come out of it immediately, understand that you're positioning yourself for when the market turns. And guys, I guarantee you it's going to and oh by the way one more time go to the damn oak tree training they will set you up so you can do these trainings pick up more referral partners who happen to be potential clients hope this helps have a great day